Hey, what's up everyone? So, um, yeah, in this video, I am going to show you how you can play Minecraft on the Quest 1 and also the Quest 2. This is going to be a very straightforward tutorial. I'm going to guide you through the whole process, so don't worry, it's going to be uh, easy peasy. And uh, with that being said, let's jump right into the metaphors and get this party started, okay? So first of all, what you want to do is grab your phone and open the uh, Quest app. What we want to do here is uh, activate the developer mode. So you can find this in the menu under devices, developer mode, and then simply flip the switch. That's all. The next step is to find a laptop or use a computer to start downloading the two files that I linked in the description below. And uh, while doing so, make sure to drag them onto uh, your desktop. You also want to install SideQuest, if you haven't already. Uh, this is a program that you will need to get the files you just downloaded onto your Quest. And then from there, you can start unpacking things. Anyways, if this is your first time using SideQuest, then you need to connect your headset to your computer or laptop via a wire. Depending on the parts you have available, you can use the charging cable or a USB-C to USB-A that you see here. And after you hooked up the Quest with a wire, don't forget to accept all the messages inside to give SideQuest access to your headset. And when you did that, uh, the connection status should turn green, meaning you are ready to go. By the way, do not disconnect the cable just yet, as you will need it later. On SideQuest itself, uh, click on the box icon with uh, the arrow on it. You can find this on the top right. And then select the APK file from your desktop and wait until it tells you that all tasks have been completed. You can then minimize the program and go to the zip file you downloaded earlier and uh, extract it onto uh, your desktop. Just give it a moment and then when it's ready, you can move on to the next uh, step. And that is that you open this PC and find the Quest 2 under Devices and Drives. What you want to do is replace the Android folder in there with the one that you just extracted onto your desktop. That's the new Android folder. So drag it in there and make sure to replace all its files. This may take a while, so please be patient. After it's finished, you can unplug your Quest's uh, cable and put on the headset and in its menu, head over to your apps and select unknown sources in the drop down list. It should be all the way on the bottom. Click on the Pojav launcher next and let the quest unpack its files. When it's ready, log into your Minecraft account uh, with Mojang's current migration to Microsoft's uh, systems. It is recommended you use the Microsoft option. And after you successfully filled in your details, the launcher should automatically appear in front of you. But before you press play, you, you first want to open its settings, okay? So go to its video and renderer and choose the third option. Next to that, you want to change the game version as well to the one on the bottom. You should be able to find it under the name Fabric Loader. And with that, I can officially tell you that you can hit that shiny green button. Ah, oh, finally. Just ignore the warning that you uh, receive and click on play anyway. Uh, do wait until everything is loaded though. Don't press skip. Uh, it, it's better to give it space to properly prepare your game. You don't want to brick it. And then a few minutes later, you should end up inside Minecraft. Yeah. I know it's tempting to dive straight away into its single player, but make sure to check its video settings first and see if the render distance is on 6 chunks for a more stable frame rate. According to the developer of Questcraft, 6 chunks is the sweet spot for Quest 2 and 5 chunks is the sweet spot for Quest 1. And that's it, you are now free to play Minecraft single player from wherever you are. It's absolutely amazing that this runs natively on the Quest and I honestly can't wait to see it being improved along the way. It's not as good as Vivecraft on PC, but after years gone by with endless petitions to bring it to the Quest, I'm happy to see that people can finally enjoy this game on a standalone headset. It's truly a gift. So Carmack, if you're watching, get onto this. As you may have noticed, so far I only mentioned the single player. And that's because if you want to hop onto a multiplayer server, you need to transfer another file to your headset first. And to be more precise, you have to get it from the installed PC version of Minecraft by opening its main folder in appdata slash roaming. And then you should see a file named server.dat. Drag this file to your quest folder by opening Android, 
data net.kdt.pojevlaunch.debug. Phew, that's a long uh, one. And then files. And last but not least, minecraft.minecraft. .minecraft. When you copied it, you can unplug the cable once again and start playing on any server you want. It's awesome how you can now literally invite your friends into Minecraft and get immersed within its endless possibilities. Uh, do double check if you are online in the top left corner of the launcher and again, use your Microsoft account. That is so important. And there you go. Thanks for watching everyone. I uh, hope this video was useful. If it was, then make sure to uh, slam that like button. And if you're interested in installing uh, shader packs as well and transferring your worlds that you are usually playing on your PC to the Quest version of Minecraft, then uh, go to the description below and check out the other two tutorials because those are definitely going to help you out to get the most out of uh, quest craft as they call it. So with that being said, uh, until next time, see you in the metaverse and uh, bye bye for now. Oh yes, have a great time in Minecraft.